how cool was it the first day to be able to play video games? Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> it was. What really, did you really play? Cool. Um, uh, Civilization Six. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of it. It's a massive game. It's something I've been wanting to play for a long time. I was able to kind of sort of play it with some different assistive technology over the last few years, but not really. And I played it like all night. I didn't sleep. It was freaking awesome. Um, man, I just love. I mean, I grew up being a gamer. I grew up in kind of this age. So the last eight years, I've watched all of my friends play games that I've wanted to play, and the fact that I might be able to play some of them. Like some of them are still uh, too far out of reach for the Neuralink at this point, but not for much longer. In the next few years, I think I'll be able to play anything anyone else plays. Halo, so I love Halo. I'm a big Halo guy. <laughs> you gonna be yeah. able to play that? Yeah, I hope so. Wow, I really hope so. Yeah, that would so be you'll be able to play shooters like Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah. That's that brings up another thing. Like I basically have an aimbot in my head. So, oh, yeah, so that's crazy. Yeah, they'll probably have like different leagues uh for people like me because it's just not fair um wow is it yeah. that accurate it's that accurate and wow. it's and it's faster one thing that i found with the Neuralink is something that uh kind of blew my mind too is that when i'm attempting to do stuff sometimes or i'm thinking it to like move in a certain place sometimes it's so good that it's moving before i even like think it to move it's almost like if you think about moving your hand um the signal is basically already being sent before you move your hand like your your mind is saying okay he's about to move his hand basically so the signal needs to be sent all the way down and back up in order for you, for you to move your hand so the speed that all of that happens and it's almost a little preemptive i saw that with the Neuralink, where it was moving the cursor before I was actually moving my hand. Say. Wow. So with video games, stuff like that, you just need to think for it to move somewhere, and it is that accurate, and it's quicker than you can even think, so there's no way it's gonna, like, no one else is gonna be able to keep up with it. That's gonna be wild for something like Quake. Like yeah. a, a first person, like a fast first person shooter, yeah. you're running down hallways, and you're just catching people and yeah. shooting them instantaneously. Yeah. Elon Musk will have wow. a field day. Wasn't he like one of the best Quake players in the world? Was he? Yeah, I, think, I didn't know that. Yeah, I think he was like one of the top Quake players in North America at one point. Yeah. I don't, I, I wouldn't doubt that. Yeah. <laughs> he's, I know he's a gamer. I know he gets addicted to games. Yeah. Especially <laughs> something that's that exciting. Mm. That's going to be so dope for you, man. You'll be yeah. fucking people up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'll be cool. <laughs> I'll just enter tournaments and I won't tell them I have the Neuralink and I'll. I don't know. I don't know how I would do it. I guess. Yeah, but yeah. if I'm doing it all online, like it would like, be kind of cool for yeah. you to play them in a tournament, yeah. like a one-on-one -on -one tournament, mm -hmm. and fuck up like the best players in the world. Wouldn't that be insane? Yeah, I bet they would play you just yeah, to see for sure, for sure. Yeah, because like there's tactics and strategy, especially if you're like doing one on one deathmatch, mm -hmm. where you have to know like when the the health is spawning and when yeah. the weapons are spawning, how to control a map. Mm -hmm. So they'll have like a little bit of an advantage in that. Yeah, but we'll if you see. just can't I'm miss, I'm pretty good at video games. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty good. Getting cocky. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I like it. Now, um, what about VR? Has there been um, any sort of uh, interface that allows you to use like Meta's VR or mm, Oculus? Yet. No, not yet. I don't think so. Like a lot of what we've done is just the computer at this point. Mm -hmm. Like they're planning on doing it into phones. I did connect to a, a Nintendo Switch at one point. Um, I was playing Mario Kart, um, and that's something that isn't like too far off as well for me to just be able to do that on my own but that's going to be every console i don't see why vr would be any different i think at some point in this study they're going to do it just to see if it works i don't see why it wouldn't at all the only thing that i would say is that vr actually requires physical movement like um mm. there's a couple games that we have yeah but if, if the brain is already interpreting your like motor cortex the movement of your motor cortex then you can just think move this and it'll move it in vr as well i think it would work right but you're actually moving these handles in vr oh uh, yeah, yeah i see what you mean yeah i see what you, you mean. know mm -hmm. you have the handles we'll in just your, get, like, get an optimus robot and then have him have him hold the vr handles and then you can control that he's connected to you yeah whoa it would be the same yeah 